Good evening, masculine enjoyers. I hope you're doing all right. It's time for the abnormal builders. Yes, we have a select number of skins that are going to become marketable in about two hours' time, and we're going to go ahead and try and figure out what prices we might want to offer for them, uh, trying to potentially figure out what prices might be best so we could pick them up and still sell them for some of those sweet, delicious-looking profits. Now, first of all, some of you probably are sitting there wondering, what are you talking about? What's an abnormal skin? Well, if you were to look in the description of this video that you're watching right now, you can see that there are two videos currently presented right there in front of you to explain what abnormals are. There's the short video, which is very generalized, but in about 60 seconds, you'll get a good idea of what they are. The second video is about 20 minutes long, but it goes a lot more in-depth, and it will explain why we're chasing them, in short, we're trying to make some sweet, delicious profits. Sounds good? Right, so basically, as I just said, we have the likes of the Neon Vibe Sheet Middle Door, we have Damascus Tier 3, we have the Abyss AK-47, and yep, that's it. We just have four abnormals today to chase after. These skins are going to become marketable at an earlier set time. That's going to be midnight my time, all right? So we've got just over two hours to go. We're going to now sit here and try, try and figure out what prices will work best there's a lot of context to build out. There are a lot of reasons behind why things might be looking better for them at the moment, why things potentially will be ever so nicer in the future if everything plays out perfectly. Now, we also have to consider what prices we might want to offer for likes of the Desert Beast Burlap Shirt and Pants. As you can see here, they are not abnormal. You also got the likes of the Hay Sleeping Bag, Thanksgiving Turkey Furnace, and, of course, the Soli Tassar. These skins are regular skins. They are not abnormal. They will only become marketable when the Rustor rotates tomorrow. Tomorrow being Thursday. All right? Understood? So we're going to try and figure out prices for all of these, and we might actually jump in and make considerations if we want to talk about actually buying certain skins. So with that, shall we jump in now and start talking about the likes of this Neon Vibe Sheet Middle Door? Right then, people. So how many of you keep track of the likes of my Russ Workshop Skin Checks videos? As you can tell, I constantly keep an eye out on the likes of the workshop, always trying to be in my, uh, trying to do my best to be informed with the likes of all the newest Russ Workshop Skin submissions. What do we have right there? Yes, Neon Vibes has even more deplorables in line. Now, unfortunately, we don't see the furnace here for some reason, but you can remember that from last week. Basically, potentially on the horizon, we have two deplorables that could be picked over the course of the next two weeks. We could potentially see the furnace, which we've already made mention about last week, or this brand spanking new Neon Vibes Large Box. So, get a good look at this. It is emblazoned with the ever so nice... Neon designs of weapons all over it. It doesn't mean it's a weapon box. It's just what the what Mr. Diaz decided to go with. And I'm not hating. It looks cool and it looks very nice and it glows in the dark. And it's part of a well-established collection or potentially could be part of a well-established collection. So again, let's just quickly go back over and look at the likes of the furnace as well. This was very nice and bright and it has a nice cool blue interior. So while we're making such a fuss about these skins, which haven't even been accepted, um, well there's the potential that they could be accepted. There is the potential that over the course of the next two weeks, uh, ne next two rust doors, I'm talking tomorrow and next week, we very likely will be seeing potentially some more Neon Vibe skins being accepted. For like the past two or three months, Diaz has been very successful. And now that we are aware of all of that, we now have to make some considerations for what we might want to offer for the likes of the Sheet Metal Door right here. So this has only done, bare minimum, 14,000 sales at the moment. That's like in reference to the amount of subscribers. When you know the amount of subscribers, you know the absolute bare minimum for the amount that were bought. We don't know how many each of those people that bought, though. We don't fully know that, but we can work with that detail. We can work with that statistic. So, yeah, hasn't sold that much. It, it, it sounds like good. You know, it sounds good. We've been making such a fuss over the past, like, month saying we're seeing some very low sales all the better for these skins to rise up in price if there's not much of it in circulation but when you take a look at all the sheet metal doors that came out this year you might notice a bit of a problem and what do you see here the vast majority of sheet metal doors aren't exactly doing super great are they no <laughs> no so yeah they're not doing super great they're not doing super well abyss is doing all right and then of course the recent uh bruce sheet metal door and rustic frontier rustic doors are doing all right Abyss is part of a well-established uh, well established collection. These two skins have transparency. All of the other ones, eh. <laughs> so we have a lot to pick from. Will this work out very, very nicely? It, it, well, the only positive thing we can see, the only positive outlook we can hope for is if it ends up like Abyss, where it ends up becoming a well-established collection. 
So we only have two doors at the moment. Will we see more? Will we potentially see the furnace or this large box being accepted anytime soon? You can only hope. You can only put your fingers, you know, keep your fingers crossed. So my answer to you is, what price would we want to offer for that sheet metal door? I'm looking at that sheet metal door with a reasonable amount of uh, optimism. Like I said, over the past like couple months or so, Diaz has been very successful. He's been getting acceptances for his high quality metal uh, collection. Not all of them, though. Not all of them. We had, we didn't get the tier two, did we? Didn't get hoodie and pants. Uh, we did see him being successful with the likes of Charitable Rust. These two skins were accepted. Very you know very good job. They look very nice. All right. Um, I can see things potentially working out all right for it. Just one more skin now. I made this comparison before, and I'll do it again. Last year, we saw a notable collection uh, start off a deplorable set, and then with the later deplorable skins that are accepted, the pre-existing ones just spiked in demand like crazy. I'm talking about the Tempered Collection. All right, so let's go take a look at this real quickly. Tempered Collection was already well established. It already had a whole bunch of weapons and clothing and armor and whatnot. But late last year, in 2022... We saw the arrival of the sheet metal door and the garage door. I want you to take a look at these two. So the timing isn't exactly perfectly aligned, but it's definitely something to be aware of. So right now this is selling for $5. Right here this is currently selling for uh, $10. Now let's just quickly remind ourselves, this uh, sheet metal door did about 17,000 bare minimum sales, and this garage door did about 14,000 bare minimum sales. Not that much, basically what we're seeing right now, basically. But what happened when these two skins were accepted? What happened when the large box appeared and the small box appeared? When you look at this at the very beginning of 2023, look at how much it spikes up by. Look at that. Now, this is the sheet metal door. This isn't the one that did the most, but it's still basically doubled in price. So right here, at the very beginning of January, at the very beginning of January, this is sitting at about $6. That large box appears, almost doubles in price. This is now selling for about $10 to $11. So things improved ever so nicely right there, didn't it? Take a look at the garage door. Get a good look at that. Scroll down, look at sales history, and can you easily see that right there? Oh, yes, you can. So... Large box appears. So just before that, selling for about mm, eight, maybe nine ish dollars, eight to nine dollars. The large box appears. Twenty dollars. <laughs> Twenty dollars. So we can't guarantee when the likes of the uh neon vibes skins potentially could be accepted, but you could see them potentially as late as uh the end of December, maybe as a late pick in January, alright? But you could see the exact type of behavior with the likes of the doors that we have. Unfortunately, SCMM's decided to not work properly. But you should know that the garage door did about fifteen to 16,000 bare minimum sales. And that sheet metal door right here has done about 14,000 bare minimum sales. It's basically parallel to the tempered doors that we just saw there. All right. If you're optimistic, if you truly think something like that could happen to the likes of this, then... I'm going to sit here and say I'm probably going to push my builders all the way up to about $2. Like, in terms of the, of the design, it does look nice. And we're very close to post-Christmas. Maybe it'll dip a fair bit for a while. Maybe. But literally in about a week or so's time, in about a week and a half's time, we're going to have the Twitch Rivals event taking place, aren't we? Which is, of course, over here. I'm sure you're all well prepared and understood with what's going on. Twitch Rivals will be taking place. Many people will be wanting to go after these lovely, lovely skins. These are, gener these are the generic drops. And down here... Twitch Rivals uh, skins, and all 10 team skins. you got red, green, blue, mint, lavender, yellow, purple, orange, grey, and pink. Yes, we've got about 25 skins being given away. Uh, lots of people are going to be watching the event. Lots of people mainly only for the skins or, you know, for the joy of watching what's going on. But yeah, that's just around the corner. Will this cause a nice spike in, you know, interest in rust will everybody will, will want, be wanting to jump back in will loads of people see the likes of this door right here and think you know what that looks very cool i need that in my base i want to use that i'm optimistic so yes i'm going to push up to two dollars so my answer to you is for a buy order price i'm going to go with one dollar twenty to one dollar eighty if you're feeling more confident in it 
offer all the way up to two dollars right you can push it up to two dollars but that'll be my answer looking at the uh looking at its current position being optimistic to see more potentially uh being accepted into the collection that being the furnace and the large box i think things are going to work out quite all right okay so one dollar twenty to one dollar eighty but if you feel a lot more confident consider pushing up to about two dollars maybe even above things are looking pretty interesting there so i think i've said more than enough let's move on let's start talking about damascus tier three so i was a fair bit conflicted when i saw this because you know we just literally saw the end of hard suit you know we literally just saw the final core piece being accepted everything was nice and then another metallic design collection begins so i was like oh okay then but you got a very cool looking face mask here and i think the chest you know the chest plate looks just as good so get a good look at that this is very nice but not exactly super colorful and whatnot but what do people like what do you personally enjoy not everything has to be super colorful not everything has to be super in your face and, you know, in terms of not being noticed that much, that's a lot better, isn't it? But perfectly fine design. Are there any potential continuations that could be appearing anytime soon? Well, if you go look at the most recent top picks, you'll notice that we do potentially have the likes of Damascus hoodie and pants potentially being accepted tomorrow or next week. Who knows? Who knows? But that's another core piece right there. And in terms of uh, very, very new skins that were produced, if we go here back to my Rust Workshop Skin Checks collection, over the past weekend, we did see the arrival of Damascus boots and gloves. Get a good look at that. So, regardless, either the hoodie in the pants, <laughs> either the hoodie in the pants, or either the boots and the gloves, if we see any one of these skins being accepted, you will see a spike in demand, spike in price. You will see these getting bought out how much probably not insanely but you will see it immediately in the positive and potentially even higher things could work out very nicely for the likes of this so if you're optimistic that we will see either the hoodie and pants or the boots and gloves at some point consider offering a higher price but will people look at all of that and say yeah i'm definitely going to be using this collection because if let me just remind you it's just straightforward metallic the face mask does look cool. Someone said, yeah, Hedge, it looks like MF Doom. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So I am conflicted. It does look cool. It does look nice. But I don't fully know if everything's going to work out right. Now, we should also point out the amount of sales. It's not too high. If this came out during the likes of the summer, maybe this would have comfortably gone above 20,000 sales. Maybe even up to 30. We can't rule out the possibility of that. But, um... Hmm... Well, this is $2.49, by the way, and this is $2. $2. So, for uh, the face mask, I think we can probably go up to about maybe, like... I think I'm going to do $1.20 and $1.70. I am, I am somewhat optimistic for it. I am somewhat optimistic we could see more being accepted for it. But, like, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it, it's so awkward. It's a risk. Yes, it is. Uh, and for the likes of the Damascus chest plate, this doesn't look as good as the face mask. In terms of a nice, unique design, the face mask is definitely there, but the likes of the chest plate, yeah. So I'm looking at this one, and I'm thinking maybe uh, 80 cents to $1.20. That's what I'm going to do for the likes of that. So we're going to need to uh, see what the barter support looks like after the uh, you know the barters have happened and we'll make considerations if we actually want to jump in and buy into them if you're if you are more confident that we are definitely going to see continuations for likes of these two skins this collection then consider offering some more money the choice is up to you but i'm looking at this and trying to figure out will this actually be an in demand collection uh, i'm a bit iffy but like I said, just around the corner, post-Christmas is about to happen, so maybe it just immediately does quite all right. So it sold quite a lot for the current time. There is interest, there is demand, but again, will it hold? Will it remain? Will we potentially see a new collection getting started soon? Will that potentially take away the thunder from that? So other than that, I've given you the prices. It's up to you with what you do with that information. Let's now take a look at the likes of the Abyss AK-47. Get a good look at this. Very nice, very cool, and probably the very beginning of a brand new array of um, Abyss weaponry and whatnot. What would you like to see? Like, Has anybody jumped in, commented, and say, hey, I'd like to see a bow, or I'd like to see um, a jackhammer or something? Feel free to make some suggestions. But, um, yeah, no purple iron sight. Um... 
Really? Aim down the sight. Let's see. Aim down the sight. We don't know. Let's go. Yeah, it's just a generic aim sight, it seems. That's a little bit unfortunate. But regardless, very cool design and part of the well-established Abyss collection. If you take a look over here, you want to see profit? Well, you've got to put more effort in. You've got to research more. All right, Mr. Kemal Bandali, you can't just turn up and expect to instantly be spoon-fed stuff. You have to look around yourself. So this is why I'm always promoting the idea of waiting until now, get a good look at the sales, make some assumptions as to whether these skins are actually in demand, try and build up all the context that you can in regards to what potentially might work out uh, for, uh, might work out well for it in the future, what potential negatives could there be. I can easily throw out a negative for this. It's an AK. <laughs> not that you know it's not bad that it's an ak-47 more the fact that it's an ak-47 skin there's far too many to pick from and whatnot it's very awkward like you know how that ronin ak just came out somewhat very recently you know i just found out i got dumped a whole bunch of them just just last night thanks mr patea but yeah uh go take a look at the ronin ak that came out recently and it's already down by 26 percent and i think it's actually lower because the bilders didn't even budge that much so yeah, I bought a whole bunch of these. Get a good look at that. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, wait, look at it in dollars. There you go. So highest buy order is only a dollar ten. <laughs> I bought like twenty, and I thought I think that's enough. I'm gonna walk away. So with the likes of this, could things still potentially turn out alright for it in the future? Yes, because like I said, the amount of skins that have already been accepted, you've got a whole batch of deplorables, you've got all of the core pieces, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a lot more um, weapons, but. I've seen this for like so many collections in the past as well. Like, go take a look at some well established collections like No Mercy. I remember seeing this with a newer collection like Dragon Rage. The weapon skins tend to actually suffer the most out of a full collection. So, like I said, go take a look at all of the AKs again. Look at how many of them are even holding up all right. Not many. I still think this is going to go below its Rustor price. So, looking at that, I'm thinking I'm going to do a buy order of $1.20 to $1.70. I think it will do better than most AK-47s, but I don't think it's going to be doing amazing. Like, maybe around post-Christmas time, it might go over slightly above its rust or price, but I can't imagine it's going to be like that forever. So, if we offer like $1.20 to $1.70, we could pick them up for much cheaper, hold out until January, potentially sell them again for about $3 and slightly more. Decent bit of profit, but it might not be super enticing for you. So, yeah. Take it for what you, you know, it's up to you. It's your choice. You think about what you want with that. So, uh, yeah, that was the uh, last of the abnormals. Shall we now start discussing in regards to the likes of the regular skins? Let's get started with Desert Beast collection. Desert Beast burlap shirt and pants. So, as expected, we projected that this was going to do about 11,000 to 12,000 sales. At the moment, 11,700 bare minimum. By tomorrow, we're probably going to see just over 12,000 bare minimum sales. And, well, the reason for that is, honestly, if you're looking at this wanting to buy some, I kind of wouldn't say no. I'm even questioning it. I'm even thinking about it. But I'm not expecting massive profits immediately. So let's just get this established because we made comparisons to the Arctic collection, didn't we? But I didn't really talk that much in regards to the context for Arctic protection burlap collection. So the reason why this flourished ever so nicely is because this is actually necessary. There's a big difference between the desert and the Arctic area. The Arctic area is cold. <laughs> you need clothes. You're going to die if you don't have anything on. So if you've just got a reasonable amount of burlap, you can make all of that. Not only is it going to keep you warm, it's also camouflage. You get to survive. You get to live a little bit longer before you somehow die. <laughs> but the main point is, it's very beneficial for multiple ways. Like I said, it's more necessary to wear clothing in the Arctic areas when you make a comparison to the desert, not so much. Again, someone pointed out, yeah, but what about nighttime? Fair enough, understood. But during the day, it is different. Like, we do have to keep that into consideration. Will this actually be in demand? Now, another question, all right? Another question is, do you even need this? Couldn't you just wear normal burlap stuff? You could, <laughs> you could. But at the end of the day, people do like a good skin, don't they? They do appreciate a good skin. And looking at the likes of this, 
how often do we even get primitive skins being accepted? Not that much. Po ponchos, yeah. Ponchos, yeah. But that's like in its own special category. In terms of like the burlap clothing and whatnot, it is a rarity. It is a rarity. Burlap shirts and pants, you're going to be only maybe seeing one or two being accepted a year. I've already made this point how over the course of this year, for burlap clothing, I've seen the likes of Desert Raiders, Forest Raiders, Blackout, Blackout version 2. I believe I've also seen comics. I've seen some independent designs that look really cool. And various others. There were, there were skin creators that were actually putting out very good pieces of work for the likes of burlap clothing. None of them were accepted. Only now did we see some burlap shirt and pants finally being accepted after about 10 months. So Face Punch does turn these down a lot. So if you're looking at this and trying to figure out, okay, what's the potential that we might see some more, because I'm worried uh, a new set might potentially steal the thunder from this, I don't expect anything like that to happen for quite some time. <laughs> maybe at some point, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, early next year, maybe a late, late next year as well, ha ha ha, just like this year. But anyway, um, the next question is, What's happening next in regards to new submissions? Because I don't see anything right here. Well, why 9 j didn't submit a Desert Beast skin this week? If I scroll up, not here. All right, let's go. Let's go delete that. Here we go. Scroll up to the uh, boxes. Here we go. Storages, please. Here we go. Um, here we are. Why 9 j submitted an independent skin in reference to the upcoming legacy items that are going to be introduced to Rust next week for December 4 swipe. Uh, that would mean... That we're not going to be seeing any potential Desert Bee skins for at least two or three weeks. Why is that? Because, oh, I've messed this up immediately already. <laughs> we have Christmas skins being submitted now. Yay! And here's the first Christmas theme submission of 2023. Shetmon's Ice Vortex Garage Door. Get a good look at that. So I'm sure you can probably deduce that we're only going to have Christmas skins now for at least two or three weeks. The Christmas Rust Doors will be taking place between December 14 and December 21. That is expected based on the fact that we already we always have two Christmas Rust Doors and they always happen before Christmas. So that's not too hard to take. That's not too hard to understand. So very nice start. Good job there, Mr. Shedmon. Feel free to go into the workshop and show some support. But over to here. TGG has produced the Holiday 2023 contest uh, list. Exactly like Halloween, there's going to be one big fat list of skins, maybe up to about 150 different skin submissions, and there will be two Rust Doors picked from it. All right, you got that all understood? So Y9J, probably not going to be producing a Desert Beast skin until later in December, at least a month's time. So that's going to potentially be a bit of a problem. So back over to here. All right, sorry, just going to put that back there. Okay, cool. So... In regards to will we see some burlap shoes? Will we see some uh, boonie hats? Uh, I don't know. Uh, can't think of anything else, unfortunately. A uh, disco mask, something like that. Uh, where, yeah, we don't. We don't know. We don't know. So, at the very least, as I said, I don't expect any other newer collections to appear. I could potentially see burlap clothing for Christmas. Maybe some some goofy gingerbread burlap stuff is produced. Don't rule that out. Okay, don't rule that out. However, that would be Christmas themed and holiday themed skins don't really tend to retain their value. So it wouldn't really take that much thunder away from the likes of this. So sticking with this, I, I can see it working out all right. I can see it working out well. And again, all you've got to do is take a look at the likes of the amount of burlap shirt skins we've had accepted over the past three years. Six. And none in 2022. All right. So overall... We take one quick look at this with the full set on over to here. Do you reckon that looks nice? What else would you like to see potentially being made? Have you actually gone to the comment section and offered some ideas? Beanie hat. Well, he asked for it. Did you ask for anything? <laughs> if you don't want a beanie hat, you got to step in and say something. So with the likes of this, honestly, I think you could just go buy some. My, that's my answer. You could just go ahead and buy some. I might just go buy 50 of each. I was considering buying more, but over time I've thought about it more and more and more. You're not going to get a massive, insane profit out of this, but you could put some money away, and at the very least it will retain its value. So the choice is up to you, but in terms of a buy order, I think you could push up to 90 cents. Why 90 cents? We still want to be able to buy them and then sell them for a potential profit. So 80 to 90 cents is my suggestion. That right there, very likely will be getting some more skins made for it. I don't know what specifically. Maybe it'll be hide clothing. Maybe. But 
There was only so many primitive collections made this year. Arctic and Pirate, made by Y9J as well. So, yeah. We did have Pizza as well. Pizza was made by Himmick. But yeah, point made is, um, yeah, Y9J's already done it before, and I wouldn't be surprised if he tries for it again. So there is some optimism there. I don't think we'll be seeing any newer stuff appear anytime soon in terms of other competing skins. So things are still looking all right for Desert Beast. It's just going to be a fair bit delayed. And do take into consideration, other people exist. They tend to be impatient. If they don't get instant gratification, they just unload all their stock. But post-Christmas is just around the corner. I can see people wanting to use this. I can see this going up in price a fair bit. So if you do start to question things around January time, you can just sell it. And I wouldn't be surprised if you could sell it for a decent profit. Sounds good. All right, cool. Hay sleeping bag. This has sold less than the hay storage. But there is a bit of a problem with this. It doesn't seem to be that in demand. <laughs> there was uh, some continuations that appeared over the past weekend. We got the hay boonie hat and poncho. Do you reckon that's a cool looking uh, pair right there? Do you reckon that's like a perfect farmer set? Yeah, go look at that. This is clothing. This is different. This is... This is awkward. So... Maxim, you don't need to type out the song to that. You can chill out for a second, buddy. So... Oh, back over to here. I don't really think this is going to progress super insanely if this were to be accepted, but I'm still hoping they make a rug skin because at least role players could utilise that very nicely. At least, you know, they could potentially make a proper barn in-game. That would look cool. That would look cool. But that sleeping bag, I'm not 100% sure, but someone did come up with a very cool idea. Hedge, it's like a perfect sleeping bag for the desert area. And when you look at the ground right there, huh, maybe, yeah, yeah, I, I can see it. I can see that potentially being something. Light brown does do quite well right there. So, yeah, maybe that might work out all right in the future, but there are other desert-themed like uh, sleeping bags that are already quite pricey. So if we go to over to here and... Well, do you remember Desert Stone? Do you remember how hyped up we were for that? And then it looks like this now, minus f negative 52%. <sighs> Not good. But yeah, can you remember what we're comparing that to? We're comparing it to Desert Scout. Desert Scout, 8,400 sales only up by 14% at the moment. Eh, honestly, I can still see this just going below its roster price. So the price I'm going to suggest for this is I'm going to probably do like, um, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do 80 cents to $1. That's what I'm going to do. I can see it going below its roster price. I could see it potentially working out quite all right in the future, but um, it's, it's the short term where I think it's going to just kind of struggle. So, yeah, that's going to be my answer. That's going to be my suggestion. If you feel more confident in it, offer some more. It's up to you. Thanksgiving Turkey Furnace. Right, so I've been conflicted with this. It's looking very goofy. It's looking very silly. It's a Thanksgiving-themed skin, but honestly, it's not like it says Happy Thanksgiving all over it and whatnot. But Hedge, it's a turkey. I, I, I understand, I see it, but like, not everybody associates a turkey dinner with just Thanksgiving. Like, there are, other, there are other countries out in the world. Some people would view it as like a Christmas dinner type of thing. Anyway, it's a, it's a turkey. It's a turkey. So, yeah. Will that work all right in the future? Like, will people look at that and think, what the hell is this? I need it. Um... I don't know. I'm conflicted because you can kind of see it how a lot of people would think that's a really goofy skin and they'd probably want to buy it and use it and enjoy it. And yeah, but is that going to happen anytime soon? I don't know. I do not know. Like we've had, we have had a number of very goofy looking furnace skins in the past. Remember like the pineapple furnace and the strawberry furnace and whatnot? How are they currently doing? Uh, down 32%. Where's that strawberry furnace? Where are you? Show yourself. I need you. There you go. Negative 33%. So uh, yeah. Yeah, during the years, furnaces do terrible. And uh, once we get to around post-Christmas, we could potentially see some profits. So, yeah, uh, I'm honestly looking at that and I'm thinking, you know what, I'm just going to stick with doing a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order. That's going to be my approach. That's going to be my suggestion. If you think it's going to work out right in the future, if you think with only just about 6,000 bare minimum sales, that will end up flourishing at some point in the future, consider offering more. It's in your hands. And now we have the Soli Tassar. Look at all the so uh, the semi-automatic rifle skins that we have, and they're not exactly doing super great. Bar a few, all right? 
So will you see more of these go up in price around post-Christmas time? Oh, yeah, yeah, you will see some more in the positive. But <sighs> it's awkward. This is part of a weapon-only uh, collection. We've only got the revolver in this. There have been other submissions somewhat recently. Uh, Delarice seems to be removing his older listings, his older workshop submissions. But I don't think the SAR is going to be doing super great. I do think this is just going to be a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order. The demand clearly wasn't there no sales, so yeah, 70 cent to 90 cent by order. And so with that, we've just finished talking about all of the stuff right there. Chat, you've been screaming and shouting at each other throughout all of this. I don't even think it was to do with skins, was it? You are very, very naughty. You've been misbehaving. Anyway, like we've already pointed out, what could we expect for the next two or so weeks? Well, tomorrow... I'm thinking it's just going to be a perfectly normal, regular type of Rustle rotation. I am expecting more typical picks compared to early picks. So hopping over to here, more skins from the likes of uh, this collection here, TGG's top picks. You're more likely going to be seeing some skins picked out of this. So chat, like I've said, you've got to go through here, get a good look at all of these skins, start making some assumptions. Maybe you'll see San Rhino Tier 2 version 2. Maybe you'll see Recycler Collection getting a start. Maybe you'll see Forest Stone Sleeping Bag being accepted. Frog Box, who knows? Scroll down a little bit more. We've got Corn, Corn Furnace, New and Vibes Furnace. We've already talked about this today, haven't we? I'm optimistic, I'm hopeful, please. And uh, scrolling down, you've got a whole bunch of Frontier theme skins. Don't forget, Frontier Building Skin is going to be coming out uh, for the December 4 swipe. Be prepared for that. We're very likely to be seeing some more Frontier skins potentially being accepted. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Or maybe, in general, just Wild West theme skins. Get a good look at this gun store vending machine. Don't that look pretty cool? Huh? What do you reckon? So, yeah. Consider looking for all of this. It's currently in the workshop. Get yourself all nice and informed. Maybe a redemption sap. Ooh, what do you reckon? Nice and shiny. Cranberry red. We just had Thanksgiving. <laughs> right, so that's looking pretty cool. But we should still potentially expect the likes of some early picks. So, yes, again, if you've seen the likes of my Rust Workshop skin checks, these were all the newest submissions over the past weekend and as of Monday. And we've been seeing a lot of 10th anniversary skins. Lots of skins being made in reference to the fact that in December, Rust is 10 years old. Rust first came out back in December of 2013 in Early Access. It's been around for a very long time, a full decade. And I wouldn't be surprised if at least one skin referencing its birthday will be accepted. Could it potentially be Slanoster's transparent garage door right here, which glows in the dark? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm not joking. Look at that. Look at the transparency in that. We've been making lots of jokes about transparent garage doors recently. Could, could it be that? I don't know. It's a bit much, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's a wrap. That's everything. We are now going to go ahead and skip ahead to the likes of uh, the actual buy orders. Best of luck to each and every single one of you. Let's now skip ahead. Um, well, this is awkward. Maybe I'm going to have to skip ahead. <laughs> no. Right, so we're about 1 minute and 20 seconds in, and none of these have actually appeared. And that's really weird. And it rhymed. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? It's definitely Wednesday night, correct? I'm not going crazy, am I? Well, for me, it's Thursday now, yes. Where are the skins? Are you sure it's now? Yes, it's now. We've been buy ordering at midnight for the past several weeks. There you go. There's one. Ah, there you go. Right. So, of course, 3,000 buy orders. That's normal. Yep. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, there you go. That's the first one. Where are the others? <laughs> let's go over to here and do a second buy order. And let's go put down... There we go. God, what the hell? Right. Right. Back over to here. This has been really, really weird. This has been really, really weird. Okay. Uh, prices. So we're going to push up to about that. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go... I hope that went through. Come on, come on! What is going on? 
sorry about this. This it's never been this weird before. All right, okay. It's gonna keep being weird for now. Why don't we skip ahead and uh, I hope it appears soon. So yeah, skip ahead and we'll find out what's going on. We'll look at the support and whatnot. Right, people, we're back. So it's been about 13 minutes, and we actually had to have someone who bought the skins themselves list there so we could actually do the buy orders. Bit goofy, but yep. As you can see in SCMM.app, it can notice prices now. And as we look at the skins, we can start doing the abnormal bar to support. We can take a look at the buy orders and start making some, you know, assumptions. Will the likes of this Neon Vibe sheet on the door retain its value? Will it actually hold? And I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, probably not. This is a $2.49 skin. If you look at the buy orders, they're not pushing up to $2. And in fact, I think this is me. <laughs> I think that's me. So this is a little bit questionable. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit hesitant. Um, yes, this was botted, as you can see here. Just barely over a dollar and around $1.20. That's the normal thing that we tend to see every single week. But uh, if you, like, exclude them, it's still got a decent amount of buy orders, but it's not pushing up to $2.49. That's the big problem. That's the issue. And listen, if we don't get the instant gratification if we don't instantly see the likes of more neon vibes deplorables being accepted we're in a bit of trouble yes we are 100 percent. but like i said do remember there's the furnace there's the large box and of course you'd be well aware of that if you've been keeping track with the likes of my recent rust workshop skin checks video so consider watching that if you'd like <laughs> but yeah optimism is there still but in terms of actually jumping in and making a purchase, it is a bit questionable. It doesn't look like it's going to be retaining its value. But if we suddenly do see more Neon Vibes tomorrow or next week, of course you're going to see a spike in one spike in price, for sure. So, yeah, it's up to you with what you do next. But if you are actively wanting to try and get a hold of some of these, you could just put down a $2 buy order. Pick a whole bunch of these up for $0.50 cents cheaper. That's going to be the smarter play. As you can see, not that many people, no one, no one will be competing with you. So you should be right. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if you do pick up a whole bunch of them if you put down a $2 bar. So the choice is up to you. If you're watching this on Thursday, if it's still the same, it's up for you to consider. I honestly do think you can pick up a bunch of these for a much cheaper price. So up to you with what you do next. You know about all the information. You know, you know about the context. Let's now move on. Here is the Damascus Tier 3. And like I said, we had to get someone to list it. <laughs> Good job they live. Right, so what do we see over here? This was not botted. This only has 828 requests to buy, which, you know, honestly, that's still quite a lot. Now, when you look at the layout of the builders, they do push all the way up to a dollar, do comfortably go up above a dollar, above one dollar, so how I should say it. But it starts to stop at about a dollar thirty, and then, yeah, that's it. This face mask is $2.49. The bar does basically end at $1.30. This does not look like it's going to retain its value. No. No, it does not. <laughs> but remember what I said. Potentially tomorrow, we could see Damascus hoodie and pants. We could see Damascus boots and gloves. It could happen. Yes, you will still see a spike in demand, spike in price. That will happen. If it does, you know, if it, if, if it were to get the continuations. <sighs> Is it an appealing set? It's that hard suit situation all over again. I mean, we could go take a look at the hard suit skins. We could do, we could do that right now, actually. Yeah, two weeks ago. How's it holding up? How does it look? And, well, that's too far back. Sorry, sorry. Down 7, down 22, up 17. Huh. <laughs> take a look at the whole hard suit collection. Yes, all of this did go up in price a fair bit. It's gone back down. Awkward. Yes, I know. I can see it. It's awkward. Again, maybe we'll see this do a lot better when it's January time. Maybe, maybe. But from what we can see here, everything's only ifs and maybes. And you look at the likes of the chest plate. Chest plate, obviously, at a lower price because it's a cheaper skin. Um, it's only pushing up to about $1.20. Honestly, mainly around a dollar. So I don't think people are that invested into it. But obviously, things can change if we do see continuations. I've said enough. Let's now move on. Let's go take a look at the AK. So this is selling for $2.99. Highest buy order, $1.80. Ha. <laughs> yes, this was also botted uh, yeah, at the $1 price. So it is very, very, very unfortunate. But uh, yeah, so if we exclude that, this still has about 1,000 buy orders. And as we slowly look up all of them, you've got a decent amount below a dollar. You've got a decent amount above a dollar, pushing all the way up to $1.50. Very nice, very cool. But yeah, basically ends at $1.80.
Now, like I said, wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if this does go below its trust or price, but I can't really imagine it dropping down all the way to a dollar. Can't expect that. It is part of a well-established collection. I do think people will be actively wanting to use the likes of the Abyss collection in regards to its clothing and armour, and of course the various deplorables and whatnot. So if we go take a look at it, honestly, things do look quite promising for this. I can't imagine it's going to be as good as like certain other notable collections, but I can see it having some popularity. I can see it doing all right, better than what it's currently doing. So I'm pretty sure the AK is going to be a perfect match for the likes of this set and potentially with all the other weapons that come out. So yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Everything was all there. Everything was said. If you actively want to buy any of these skins, I'd say no. They're all much lower. The barders are much lower than the prices they're currently selling at. So a smart buy order would save you a lot of money. Yes, for sure. How much will things change when we get to January time in about five to six weeks' time? I don't know. We're about to find out. No, you can always make the comparisons. You could always look at the sales history if you're looking at this. If you're watching this video in the future, for example. So, um, yeah, that's it. Abyss is goated. We're just going to... <laughs> got to turn tier 3 around <laughs> well as I said before if we do see the uh, surge in demand for it tier 3 will recover eventually it will return to its rust or price <laughs> hopefully <laughs> right so earlier we did point out that if you want to be aware of all the skins that potentially could be picked tomorrow do make sure you look at the likes of my rust workshop skin checks as you can go over to here real quickly here's the video these would be all the early picks all of the skins that you see in this video and of course the collection here which i've just showed you a second ago all of these are the early picks but at the current trend I think we're seeing less early picks now in comparison to typical picks. Just to quickly highlight, uh, highlight to you with my skin checks videos, if you just want to skip ahead to all the continuations, I do have chapters for them. So again, if you only want to see a few things, they're always listed like that. So yes, all of these potential early picks, get a good look at them. We are about to have Frontier Building Skin. I've already made reference to this, but I've got to say it again. I kind of wouldn't be surprised if we do see some more Frontier Skins. I'm not talking Rustic Frontier. I'm talking about anything that's like Wild Western themed and whatnot. But we do have Frontier Rustic Lodge Box, for example. It's competing with Neon Vibes. Awkward? Yes, but you also have the likes of a Frontier Wooden Door, which is also a transparent version. You've also got the likes of... What else do we have? What else do we have? We had some other Western themed ones. Um... Can't seem to find them anymore. <laughs> Frontier Saw. It's a wooden saw. It's a bit goofy, but I'll give it to Mr. Spinoza. That's a very unique approach. That's a very unique idea. <laughs> I think people would appreciate something like that. But yes, all of these are the early picks. What you probably want to be aware of are the typical picks. The skins that you will see in TDG's most recent top picks list. So yes, go give this a good, proper look. Tomorrow's Rustor, we'll probably see about 10 skins. I wouldn't be surprised if at least five of them are going to be typical picks. Something from here. I've already made mention. Maybe it could be Damascus. Maybe it might be a beginning of a brand new set. Hmm. Maybe we might see the continuation of Banditos. Maybe we'll get the boots and the leather gloves. That'd be nice. Arctic protection boots. Who knows? Uh, Frontier jacket. That is a good jacket. In fact, let me show that. That does look very good with the likes of the uh, cowboy stuff like... That matches, that fits, that looks cool. That's a cool Western theme skin there. Maybe we'll see San Rano tier two. Mm, who knows? Who knows? You gotta give this a good look. So right. We got that all nice and established. And then next week, it's gonna just be Christmas theme stuff. So do keep an eye on TGG's holiday 2023 contest list. Um I don't think he's updated it yet because the only skin that is Christmas fiend that has been submitted is Ice Vortex. So very nice, very cool. Let's now start talking about the commits. So over the past like couple months, we've been seeing many interesting goofy things. Like we knew about Legacy a long time back. We knew about the fact that we were gonna get some content for Twitch rivals, such as the desktop and of course the the, the, the uh, trophy. But we're now seeing some sillier things appearing. There is a battle bus. I wonder what that implies. <laughs> Are we turning into Fortnite? Maybe. Um, maybe that's how new servers will start from now. And I made this joke earlier, but it would be interesting. Instead of like queuing up and immediately jumping onto the island, maybe everybody is like a designated area and you have to wait for a specific time. Then you go into the bus, you fly up, you jump out, you land where you want to land. So you could like sit with your group and look at the map of, and try and figure out where you might want to go and where you want to set your base up. That'd be cool. That'd be a different way of uh, Rust getting established and whatnot in terms of like every new wipe. 
we shall see but yeah go look on the uh, commits page you can see all the mentions and what they've been working on maybe it's just something for twitch rivals that could be the case all right that could be the case maybe it's uh maybe it's just something completely different who knows who knows we don't know yet so we'll find out <laughs> that's all we can say and then we have a confetti cannon I'm pretty sure this is probably like for the celebration of Rust's 10th anniversary. Yes, 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 yes. So everything's cool. Keep an eye on the likes of the uh, Twitch drops. Start figuring out who you're going to want to watch first. Remember, Twitch Rivals is its own thing. It's not a generic drop. And uh, don't forget with the generic drops here, you don't need to watch anyone in particular, just anyone who's streaming Rust. Anyone who's streaming Rust, you'll get the progress of this by default. And do you reckon the Twitch Rivals trophy will be marketable and tradable like the old one? This is the Twitch Rivals 2023 trophy. You might remember the 2022 one. It's not called 2022, but we'll just take a look real quickly. And yeah, <laughs> there's only 13 that remain. 13 listings. They accidentally had this set as tradable marketable when it first appeared back in august of 2022 and all of the people that listed theirs within that two hour period these are the only ones that are remaining and it's about to delve into the price of thousands now is this worth that price no it was given away for free exactly like this over here so don't be fooled don't buy that i don't buy it you're not gonna it's not gonna be it's not rare it's not going to give you anything special because everything that this gives you, this will give you. It's the exact same thing. It's just a little bit different. All right. So please be aware of that. But if it is marketable, <laughs> list it for $2,000 and see what happens. <laughs> right. Cool. Awesome. So, uh, yep, that was all said and done. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think we've uh, got this all figured out. So like I said, go flick through all of this, figure out who you want to watch first, figure out uh, a plan because you've got a lot of things to watch to get all of these skins. And as I said, back over to here, oh, sorry, back over to here. With this video, all right, I have pointed out that two of the skins in here that we saw in that original list aren't going to be in for Twitch Rivals. Very unfortunate. But what potentially might be after Twitch Rivals? Ooh. Well, if you can remember what happened in early January this year, you might be able to do something. And so with that, thank you very much for watching me. I greatly appreciate that. Best of luck to all of you and your investments. And do be prepared. We're going to have the uh, announcement of who is going to be one of the supported streamers in regards to um, the desktop. So... If I'm one of them, I might make a video about it. Say, hey, would you like to watch me? <laughs> we'll see. But if anybody does hop into my stream and donate two subs to get that, I'd be incredibly grateful. We've had a very enjoyable, stupid year of staring at pixels and screaming about them and whatnot. But, um, well, we've got 2024 now, don't we? So, oh, great. All over again. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, chat. And YouTube. Catch you later. Seeing goodbye.